few months ago at a public event, something else happened involving the mayor. Out in public, she sends a, a known gang member from El Monte Flores to uh, intimidate my client. Mayor Ancona, seen here wearing a green top, appears to motion to the tall man wearing the number 92 jersey. He points his finger and then walks over to Leos, who is recording on her phone. Hey, why are you recording her? Leos explains that she's recording because the mayor's friends were recording her. Well, the person that, that comes up to the camera, uh, I recognize as a person by the moniker of tall El Monte Police Chief Jake Fisher won't get into the battle between the mayor and the resident, but he does confirm the identity of the man seen with Mayor Ancona. He's a, a known, verified um, local street gang member um, who uh, recently was released or put on probation, federal probation, after being in federal prison for some time. You heard that right. A mayor in an American city is using a street gang to intimidate citizens from criticizing the government. Wow. This is Mayor Jessica Ancona of El Monte, California. She is a Democrat born to Mexican immigrants. She's an educator and served on the El Monte City School District Governing Board. She was elected as an independent candidate to the city council in 2018. And in 2020, as a Democrat, she made history becoming the mayor with an all-female city council. It's Southern California's Year of the Woman. For the first time, L.A. County's Board of Supervisors will be run by five women. And now the city of El Monte has made political history, electing its first all-female city council. It still feels surreal. It's only been a couple days. It's a historic new day for the city of El Monte. I think it's such a fascinating time in history. I think with the Alley County Board of Supervisors being an all-female team. And now El Monte has elected an all-woman city council led by a new mayor. I think it's exciting um, because we, we bring the perspective of, you know, we're mothers um, you know, raising our children here in the city. Now, things are not all sunshine and roses in El Monte, California, because they have a vicious gang problem. Here's the FBI and the local law enforcement raiding the gang's headquarters after they killed some members of law enforcement. It's called Operation Silent Cadence, and this is a Fox 11 News exclusive. Take a look. We're here in El Monte at the booking center for the documented gang members that were rounded up early this morning in a coordinated and well-synchronized raid. This is the FBI. Come to the front door. Open it. Come out with your hands up. Nothing in your hands. Over a dozen locations simultaneously starting at 6 o'clock this morning, the FBI, the ATF, Los Angeles County Sheriffs, and the El Monte Police Department all working together, targeting a San Gabriel Valley gang that sources say had been terrorizing cities like El Monte. The gang members rounded up, all connected to one particular gang member, the suspect accused of murdering two El Monte police officers. Michael Paredes and Joseph Santana last year in June. So you would think that the local female mayor with an all-female city government would have nothing to do with the local street gangs. But as I always say, wait, there's more. First, we need to understand what's going on in the city of El Monte. Now, this is Gabby Leos, a civic activist. Now, she is a motivated local citizen trying to improve traffic safety in her town. Now, Gabby was advocating for improvements like stop signs, speed bumps, and new crosswalks to help pedestrians navigate the evil roads of El Monte. Now, her work drew the attention of none other than the mayor of El Monte, Jessica Ancona. Bad blood started in 2022 when Ancona ran for a second term. Leos, a longtime community activist and volunteer with the city, says she was distributing these flyers for a meeting about traffic safety. But she says Mayor Ancona assumed she was campaigning for her opponent and allegedly yelled at her. Now, Gabby 
tried to let the mayor know that she's here about traffic safety, but the mayor said, no, 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 I'm not putting it past you that you're after my job. And this is what started the campaign of harassment and the personal vendetta. It showed her the flyers and I said, these are stop flyers. And I, and then she turned around and she goes, why well, wouldn't put it past you? And I thought, whoa, like, where's that coming from? So Gabby, as it's her right to do, sent a complaint to City Hall about her interaction with the mayor. But the mayor wanted to show Gabby who's really the boss. So the mayor went after Gabby's job. She sent the email to my job. <laughs> she reached out to a liaison at my company and she forwarded them the email. According to a lawsuit filed against the city of El Monte and Mayor Ancona, repeated phone calls were made to the plaintiff's employer by Mayor Ancona, alleging that Leos was criticizing her on social media while on company time and that she was representing the utility company she works for. That allegation led to Leos being the focus of a six-month ethics investigation. Now, the issue with this is that the mayor is directly trying to stop Gabby from exercising her right to free speech. She has the constitutional right to criticize the government. It's in the First Amendment. I've read it. Now, the mayor shamelessly utilized city resources to harass Gabby, transforming a simple advocacy for traffic stops to a full-blown political war. Now, this conflict intensified. The mayor's tactics reached unprecedented levels of vindictiveness. For instance, the mayor banned Gabby from volunteering at any city events, all because she criticized the mayor. Attorney David Torres Segrist is representing Laos. He says when the mayor couldn't get his client fired, she banned Laos from volunteering for any city-related events. She, the mayor, um, verbally told everyone that my client used my client's name um, was not to be a volunteer in any way shape or form with within the city of Elmani ever again. Now Gabby alleges the mayor got so petty that the mayor attempted to stop Gabby from parking on the street right in front of her driveway by marking the curb red. Leos claims Mayor Ancona sent a public works crew to paint the curb red outside of her house. They came and they tried to minimize the amount of space that I have in front of my house so that I don't have parking space for my cars. Leo spotted and the red curb is on pause for now. But the mayor wasn't done. Using the city was not enough to stop Gabby from talking. Let's try to use the neighborhood street gang. But a few months ago at a public event, something else happened involving the mayor. Out in public, she sends a, a known gang member from El Monte Flores to uh, intimidate my client. Mayor Ancona, seen here wearing a green top, appears to motion to the tall man wearing the number 92 jersey. He points his finger and then walks over to Leos, who is recording on her phone. Hey, why are you recording her? Leos explains that she's recording because the mayor's friends were recording her. Do you know that this mayor right here, she called my job and tried to get me fired? Did you know that? He tells me that he's from, you know, a gang in our neighborhood. And at that point, I kind of stopped filming. Well, the person that, that comes up to the camera, uh, I recognize as a person by the moniker of tall El Monte Police Chief Jake Fisher won't get into the battle between the mayor and the resident, but he does confirm the identity of the man seen with Mayor Ancona. He's a, a known, verified um, local street gang member. Um, who uh, recently was released or put on probation, federal probation, after being in federal prison for some time. For Leos, that confirmation concerns her. Damn right it's concerning. This mayor's going insane over a misunderstanding. Even the local police union is calling for an investigation into the mayor's dealings with this street gang. Um, this is highly concerning to us. El Monte Detective Wyatt Rainier, who is also president of the Police Officers Association, is calling for an outside agency to investigate Mayor Ancona. We feel and believe that at this point in time, a formal investigation should take place. Now, after all of this became public, residents challenged the mayor and the city council over what the mayor was doing. I can tell you there were a lot of people here tonight. Public comment was cut down from three minutes per person to two minutes so that everyone who wanted to speak could do so. I think that this type of uh, action shows uh, 
an abuse of power. One after another. I've been living in the city for a long time, and I've never seen a mayor so disconnected with the residents of the city. You signed up for this. You know, you, we have the right to criticize you. We have the right to come to you and tell you, I don't like this. I don't agree what you're doing. Citizens of El Monte address oh, Mayor God. Jessica Ancona regarding the ongoing feud with resident mm -hmm. Gabby Leos. If you won't initiate an investigation into this wrongdoing, then we will gladly accept your resignation today. Leos is suing Ancona and the city of El Monte. Now, the city did issue a statement about Gabby's lawsuit claiming victory because the judge dismissed it. Check that out. The city of Almonte issued the following statement, quote, three times the judge has sided with the city of Almonte and the mayor and dismissed the plaintiff's complaints in this case. In response to the plaintiff's now fourth attempt, the city has filed another motion to dismiss and we are confident the court will once again rule that the plaintiff has failed to list facts that would support a viable claim. So what do you think? Should the mayor be investigated by the feds? Do you think Gabby's lawsuit should go forward? Is there enough to show that the mayor was retaliating against her for criticizing the government? Remember, the court has said no three times in the past. We'll see what happens in the future. So let me know how you feel about this crazy mayor using a street gang to intimidate this woman to try to get her to shut up. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate the Lawyer, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.